welcome back to the Travels of Red Rover and episode seven of the RV Chats. We uh, have been doing a series of RV side chats with Craig and Shelley Neeson of Craig Neeson Photography. We're both uh, YouTubers and we got together to talk about things creative. And we had a great time, so we hope you enjoy the video. So Sean, what keeps you motivated, creatively speaking? That's a really hard question. I think what gets us motivated mostly is that uh, we really enjoy uh, planning and spending time in areas we've, we've never been before. So we're not the type of photographers that tend to go back to the same place over and over and over and over and over again to get the quote unquote the shot. I mean, there's some places we like to go repeatedly. Like, we spent a lot of time in Death Valley because we happen to like Death Valley, um, would be an example. But, you know, to do something like this where we're coming to territory we don't know, we know very little about it, we've seen some photographs, done some, and Crean has done a ton of planning. <laughs> I do no planning. I drive, I show up. She says, point over there, <laughs> put pack on, walk over there. Uh, so, uh, you know, to be fair, Kareen does a lot of the work, which she enjoys. She loves to, you know, research that kind of stuff. Uh, and then coming on a new site and uh, having to figure it out again, you know, um, because it's never the same. You know, the, the you can't, although you can have kind of a process that can kind of shorten things down a little yeah. bit. The fact of the matter is, you still have to find the compositions, you still have to walk the area, you still have to do reconnaissance, mm. you still have to figure out the light, you still have to figure out whether you're there in the morning or evening. Yeah, uh, and a lot of the places we go are not well known for photography. So you can't just go look at, you know, two dozen, yeah. Instagram. Oh yeah, that, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. We, we, yeah. We, we tend not to go to places like that anymore, uh, or very often. So. Um, but that's really what gets me going, I think. What about you, Green? I find if I spend too much time at home, I get too settled. So it's always about getting outdoors and seeing something that sparks my motivation. And then I want to grab the camera and get there and set up a shot. Okay. Well, for me, I... I think it's about most mostly travel. I love to travel. It's kind of the same thing with you guys. I like to see new places. I like to experience new things. Um, so the photography kind of stems from that. My creativity comes from that. Um, but as far as like creatively when I'm at home, how I keep my creativity is, you know, just go out and take a walk and try and look at it from a different perspective. I just think about it like, where's the beauty in this area that I'm in? It may yep. be the most boring area I've been to a thousand times, but where is something beautiful in this area that maybe I missed before, maybe I didn't see it? And that kind of sparks my creativity a lot of times. So. Okay, Mr. Craig, what's your <laughs> what? creativity? Yeah. Hang on, let me see. No, no answer down there. Um, <laughs> actually, lately, it's, uh, it's the fact that I'm trying to produce a YouTube video every week. So it's forcing me to look at the local areas more and find compositions that, you know, I've probably driven by thousands of times or I know there's a, an area over there that I might have something. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I live here. I don't have to go in there and make a photograph. Mm -hmm. But with YouTube and the want to, not the need to, because we don't need to get episodes right. out weekly. But the want to try to keep that cycle going has forced me to actually look deeper into the areas that are close to home. Not just when Shelly and I go on a trip and travel and plan out, well, there are X number of locations in this place we want to go. There are all these things that we want to see and do, and what time's going to be the best time, you know, do the research with TPE and figure out a frame of mind of when we can be there to to make a photograph well at home i, I wasn't doing that hmm. before i started on youtube so youtube has kind of given me that i want to get the video out, a video out so what can i go shoot locally to create a video right and you know with everything that happened over the past year right it it made it even more 
focus because if I, I'm not out making a video or I'm not out making a photograph, I get like a, I call it, uh, what, what, Eptis. Mm. Epic Photography Depression Syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did a whole, whole video on it earlier on and it, it, it doesn't sound real, but it is real. It affects my mental well-being not to create something. I have right. to be creating. So YouTube has forced me into that more creative mode where, you know, I really don't want to sit at the computer all day doing what I do for a living. But I know at 4 o'clock when I can cut out, yep. I can go out to this conservation area and walk around, get two-mile hike in, right. and possibly find a photograph. One thing that I find is really interesting amongst our group is that for our jobs, mm -hmm. we've all done very technical jobs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're using the photography as our creative yeah. outlet yeah. Mm -hmm. to yeah. rejuvenate ourselves. Mm -hmm. Because you're into doing IT work and you're doing geology and Sean was running businesses that were full of engineers and scientists. Mm -hmm. And I was working in a scientific field. And yet we're all doing photography as an art form. We sure hope you enjoyed that episode. The second part of that episode will be on Craig's channel next week, same time, different station, which will be down there. And uh, we hope you will tune in to Craig's channel and uh, watch the second part. Bye for now. Bye for now. Bye for now.